Welcome back to data modeling question answer session. What is a conceptual data model? Conceptual data model includes all major entities and relationships and does not contain much detail level of information about attributes and is often used in the initial planning phase. What does it mean here? The data models are requested to draw conceptual data models based upon the requirements. This conceptual data model is created usually in the drawing room where white board is present, all top stakeholders, project managers, business analysts, subject matter experts, end users. They discuss about the requirements and the data model is asked to create a conceptual data model. So the data model understands the business requirements, gets the high level information from the top executives and draws that data model on the whiteboard. This is called as a whiteboard conceptual data model. If whiteboard is not present, then the data modeler draws that one in the piece of paper. Sometimes what happens, the requirements are sent to the data modeler and the data modeler uses a data modeling tool to design high level conceptual data model. The conceptual data models are printed out and given to all top executives and they discuss with each other about how a database must be created. Data modelers create concepts of data modeler and forward that model to the functional team for their review. This is how the approval is received from the functional team. The approach by which conceptual data models are created is called as conceptual data modeling. Here you can see a sample of a conceptual data model which contains entities and these entities are created by relationships. So this relationship line joins these two entities, gender lookup and as well as employee info. Gender code is an attribute here and employee ID is an attribute here. Whereas in work history cross-ref, we do have three attributes, company code, employee ID, employment start date. 